Texas signed at birth unless approved by their parents. The House would need a two thirds vote to overturn this bill. This all comes as today marks Transgender Day of Visibility, where there are rallies being held across the country to celebrate the successes of transgender and gender nonconforming people, including in Fargo. Valley News Team Zoe Jones joins us now live with what advocates at tonight's rally are saying. Zoe. All right, thank you so much, Justin. Yes, I'm down here in downtown Fargo right now. As you can see behind me, there is quite a crowd that has developed over the last hour or so. The event started around 4.30. They have been moving throughout downtown Fargo, started out at the library and moved down here today. Uh, like Justin mentioned, you know, they have been discussing this bill about the pronouns for quite some time now. Lawmakers, people in the LGBTQ community have all been discussing it. They're all talking about it right now. And on today, Trans Visibility Day, if you listen to what they've been saying, everybody is saying the fight is not over. Over. Even though the governor vetoed the bill yesterday, that doesn't mean that they're done fighting. They're going to keep pushing for what they believe is right. We're going to continue to bring updates throughout the next couple of days as these details come available with the Senate bill, as well as what you can expect later tonight. We'll have more details about what the rally has held, all that and more coming up later this evening. Reporting in downtown Fargo, Zoe Jones, Valley News Live. Justin, back to you. All right, thank you, Zoe. In other news today,